Okay, sorry about the little break there. I'm good to keep going. I'm not complaining that I keep having more game. I am perfectly fine to continue playing this game. Oh, but I did not realize how long this was going to take to record this final segment. I was expecting this to be a long one. I was expecting an hour. But like, we're still going at an hour 15. So definitely going to be two videos. Anyways, now we have to talk to these two. Hey, Sheil. Hmm. Perhaps she's yearning to one day be connected. A wish to hang out. <laughs> that poem sounds a bit more modern. Uh, you were not supposed to hear that. Then maybe you shouldn't talk out loud, loud in a small room. Hmm, fair. Hey, can I ask you something? Fine. When we first met, you seemed afraid of the guide reading your mind. I still am. Yes, but... I guess what I want to ask is, what's stronger? That fear or your hatred for the voice? Hmm. Very well. I've been coy about this matter for long enough, I suppose. Um... As I said earlier, I was murdered. It was traumatic. Not the stabbing, per se, although that certainly stung. But rather, the circumstances. Uh huh? When arriving here, I was broken. There were no words at my fingertips, no poetry in motion. I was lost. The path that led to my death was fraught with sadness. And then, he appeared before me. A vision of dark, elegant beauty. The Guide. Many were then, as they are now, fearful of him. But I was not. With time, we grew close. You were in a relationship with the guide? Hmm. As close to one that a deity is capable of, I imagine. Wow. Hmm. It wasn't carnal, or even terribly emotional. It was mainly spiritual. He spoke at length about someone giving purgatory a voice. For a grand purpose he was philosophizing about. The contents of which he never divulged to me. But... I could sense his passion. You mean... Yes. Long ago, he was already looking for a dweller to turn into the voice. Ah. Foolishly, I thought that it could have been me. I see. Princess, I never had much of a voice to speak of. I write. I do not talk. I shared his life until someone better came along. He dumped you? Hmm? He, uh, ended the relationship. Um... He assured me that there was nothing to end, as nothing had ever begun in the first place. That's harsh. Yes. So you see, I hate him. But... You also love him. Love is for the living, princess. Hmm... It sounds to me like the guide is more at fault here than the voice, though. I mean, honestly what I was thinking, but... Why do you want her to suffer? By the burning flames of Asmodeus, does it matter? I am here to assist you, so perhaps you should appreciate that instead. I just meant... I believe I've answered your original question. That's, this conversation is over. Hopefully never to be resumed. Thank you for telling me. Poor Sheol. I will... Hmm. I should probably talk to Bliss instead. I figured I'd double check what that is. Maybe someday I'll be... Same thing. Same thing. Figured I'd double check them since we're about to end off here. Hey, Bliss. Getting excited as well. 
I'm not sure if that's the right word, but... <laughs> hey, uh, should we talk about, you know, us? How do you figure? I mean, in case something goes wrong. Us hanging out, hanging out here, waiting to do this dangerous thing. It has a final day feel to it, you know? Hmm. I get what you mean, man. But the way I see it, we're just not going to let it be the end. Because I still want many, many more nights with you. I Many more like, nights to live. And I'd very much like to spend them with you, Isabel. Hmm. All right. I'm curious how this would be different if you went with Sheil. Like, I wonder how Sheil's line would differ. Or if you romance both of them, how would it change? It's like you can romance as many characters as you want, but I think story I think storylines change depending on who's romanced and who's not. I'm glad we uh I'm glad we did the things we did. <laughs> that makes two of us, man. But it kinda looks like Sheol is about to cringe her way into the void from listening to us. So maybe we should focus up. Good point. There was something else I wanted to say, though. And what's that? I wanted to tell you again that I'm sorry about before. It's not like you forced me into anything, and we all make mistakes, so... <laughs> There's nothing to forgive, man. I did end up telling Sheol a bit too much, even if she came to me first. I probably could have withheld some information, you know? I guess I got hyped. And man, you went to heaven and back all in a few hours. That's one dang impressive trip. So, uh, if you're sorry, then I'm sorry too. Just a pair of sorry people. <laughs> Something like that. And you're sure about all this? Risking so much just for my happiness? Yeah, man. I mean, if this results in the guide getting hit where it hurts... <laughs> then it's already worth it by default. Getting you into heaven is pr a pretty big bonus, though. As I said before, I'll be enjoying it through you. Mm -mm. You're a really good guy, Bliss. <laughs> I try to think that I am. Man. But we're only as good as the company we keep. Something to keep in mind, huh? Right. Let me know when you're ready to kick this off. I will. It's already evening. The time has come, man. Judgment Day. Not quite, but uh, something like that. Alright then. But... Huh? If we pull this off, what do I do afterwards? You're under your contact. You tell him what you found so that you can get that information to Rem right, right away. And you two? We are unimportant in comparison, man. And besides, we'll be fine. Probably. Yeah, we just might be in the pit, in the box forever, but that's fine. Just make sure you succeed, alright? The window of opportunity is probably kind of small. Right. Let's get to it, then. We've got this. Press log updated. Bliss frantically flails his hands around, asking if that's what the guide's secret code looks like. The shield comments that the guide, unlike Bliss, isn't a fool. Things are just as usual, in other words. Eventually, you manage to work up the courage to leave your room. And with that, your dynamic trio splits up, hoping to uncover the truth of purgatory. If such a thing even exists, that is. Find out what's behind the huge door. Okay. We meet again, Hall of Deities. There's definitely no one here. And also, I'm feeling... calm. I wonder if that means I'm safe. For now, at least. 
All right, enough is enough. Time to approach the door. I really hope this works. All right, so up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, swing, clap. Oh, I almost had it right. I knew it and I forgot what swing was. I thought it was shake or something. Ah, that was the only thing I got wrong. No, I almost had it right on my own. Um, did I get it right? I guess I did. It's opening. Time to step inside. Hmm. Uh-huh. Is this W? Who are you? Don't mind me. Just go ahead and enter. Don't tell me what to do. I'll... Bright light. What the... It's so bright. I can't see anything. I... What... Is... That... It's enormous. How does it even fit inside this room? I don't even know what this is. Is it a machine? Or a monster? Or both? Come to think of it, where am I? This isn't the Hall of Deities anymore. This feeling... It's like I've ended up someplace where I don't belong. That's because you have. Who goes there? Uh, did that thing just talk to me? Announce your presence, human. Uh, what do I say? Now. I'm uh, uh, Isabel. Isabel. So you do understand me. Hmm. You've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? What? For you to wander in here, the odds are certainly stacked against you. A mere human playing at war. War? No, you've got this all wrong. Silence! <laughs> what you see in front of you is but a fragment of my true self. But even this is not intended for human eyes. Only a deity can stare into the abyss that is I, and experience me staring back. Uh, I'm not following. I mean, who or what are you? Hmm. You may refer to me as the Will. The will. Universe spanning Eldritch Force. Okay. <laughs> Hello there, Will. Pamphlet content. Let's read that real quick. Is, oh, wait, no, that's the last character, isn't it? Because that's all we had left. I don't know if I go too far if I won't be able to read this. I might as well read this now. Oh, Isabel, what have you done? And you, Isabel are currently standing firmly in the middle of two factions. Hence, playing at war. You mean heaven and purgatory? Obviously. Uh, are you, um... Are you the source of Rem getting weaker? I do not take sides, human. I simply am, as I always have been. However, the one you call the guide has long been at my side. In his shrewdness, perhaps he'll succeed in using my properties to suit his needs. What does that even mean? Hmm. An arduous path lies ahead of you, Isabel. Choices must be made. Choices with larger implications than you can even begin to fathom. But I'm... Just some girl. The fact that you can speak to this deity that no one else can is probably showing you're not. A girl who is currently having a conversation with the most powerful being in existence. Uh. Perhaps you are not as ordinary as you seem to believe. 
I still don't understand what you are. Are you sure that there's going to be a war? The war has been waged for eons already. And it shall be waged for an eternity still. How does humanity fit into all that? Neatly. I still don't understand what you are. What I truly am is impossible to explain. Were you to truly try grasping it, your mind would enter a state of irrecoverable insanity. Imagine the greatest power you can conjure into that head of yours. The most powerful person with the most powerful means to exercise that power. Now multiply it infinitely. That sounds impossible to do. Indeed. What's your relationship with the deities? Also, did I say this how cool this art piece is? Like, definitely showing pretty well the definite gap in uh, in power, I guess would be the word. The definite gap in standing. I do not have relationships. I exist as they do. That's all there is to it? No. But it is all that you are capable of understanding. What should I do now? The minuteness, I guess, would also be a word to describe how uh, Isabel seems in this picture. Like she is standing in the void in front of the most inconceivable being impossible. Like she has nothingness in the grand scheme of things and has to make herself be something. You shall do that which you intended upon arriving here. You will share what you've learned here with those you believe worthy of that information. Then you shall reap the consequences of doing so. Rest assured, Isabel, there is no turning back now. <sighs> There's nothing I can do about anything. Indeed. But in doing nothing, you are also capable of doing everything. That makes no sense! I will now return you from whence you came. But I still have questions. Hmm. You're just throwing me out now? I am allowing you to leave. As a courtesy to you, an ordinary girl who can talk to gods, I do you this service. That's, um, kind of you, I guess. It is not kind. It simply is. Uh, uh. Until we meet again, Isabel. I... Uh, what the... Did that really just happen? I can't believe... Uh, I need to tell Volumnius about this. Hello? Is there someone in here? Uh, it's the voice. I need to get out of here fast. S the music change! <laughs> oh, this music just came in. <laughs> Vol, get out here now. Isabel, what's the matter? You're acting strangely again. Not more problems, I hope. No, uh, at least I don't think so. I'm not sure, but... Huh? I have important information. Huh. Really? Yeah, yes. I'm having some trouble making sense of it, though. Let me be of assistance, then. I'm not sure you can help. At least allow me to try. I'm helping you. It'll be as smooth and graceful as the Magnificent Panther. In helping you, I will be as smooth and graceful as the Magnificent Panther. Oops, almost dropped my glasses there. Vol. <laughs> oh, this music goes so hard. Oh, this music's so good, I'm having a little bit of a hard time with the words. Um, Sorry, sorry. Now, please, share, the, share this information with me. 
All right, I'll try. One confusing explanation later. Do, 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 do. Wow, that's... Uh, I think of myself as fairly educated in matters of life and death. But even so, this truly surpasses my wildest imagination. Uh, I'll have to bring this to Rem, post-haste. In fact, I... Uh, it's you! It's you again! Huh? Um... A shadow? Huh? Why, you... You ran into the tunnel. Uh... Uh-huh! You must have heard everything I told you. Imp possibly. Shouldn't we be worried about that? No need. Huh? Only a dweller or shadow who has made peace with their death can reach the other side unscathed. A lone human from purgatory won't get far. So it doesn't matter what they heard, if anything. The other side? Meaning heaven? No. The path to God's domain is open only to denizens who know the way. For everyone else, something different awaits. Uh, all right, if you say so. Isabel, I... Uh? Gone. <laughs> Honestly, I loved that music so much, but probably a good thing because I was having a hard time focusing. <laughs> I, I know that I've not been as useful as you've hoped throughout the whole ordeal, but... Trust me when I say that I only want what's best for everyone. Including you, of course. What are you talking about? I'm trying to say that you don't need to worry about things. I promise. Huh? You're being weird. Oh, I, um... I didn't mean... And by which I certainly wasn't implying... Mmm... I used to be a doctor, you know. That's very reassuring. But, uh... What does that have to do with anything? Oh no. I just wanted you to know. I mean, I know so much about you, and you know practically nothing about me. Maybe I know more about you than you know. Now there's a tongue twister. All right. Although, I feel as if... All I ever do is ask things of you. You're just doing your job, aren't you? God's favorite and all that. I suppose, but I... <laughs> now what? <laughs> this conversation takes me back. How so? Can I just say this was a very sudden tone shift? Like, now we're just having a conversation... After seeing an unimaginable deity and like the cool hype music like chasing us down, all that is happening, and now we're just talking feelings and whatnot. <laughs> it's very. Someone definitely hit the brakes here. <laughs> well, let's just say uh, that I have a history of being awkward around women I, ex I admire. Oh? Admire, do you? Hmm. In fact, you remind me a bit of... Oh no. Yeah, reminder of you. Of you. <laughs> it's the voice. She'll see us talking and... Dang it. Uh... Oh. Here's this music again. Uh... uh, uh, uh Astrid... Is it really you? I... I can't believe it. You're... You're all right. Of course I am. I'm a superstar. Don't you remember, Costa Man? I do remember. Only too well. Um... 
I take it you two know each other. Well, you could say that. I mean, in another life. That's... Wait, why are you here with Isabel? Um, uh, that's... This banished idiot of a girl was pleading with me, practically begging on her knees. She said, oh, please, take me back to heaven. I'll do anything. Pathetic behavior, really. He's trying to cover for me. I need to play along. Yeah, please, I can't take it anymore. This place is horrible. Uh, is this true, sister? You hate us that much. Oh, I, um... Clearly she does. Oh! Now take this piece of trash back, and then I shall be on my way. Laying it full. You... Why are you talking like that? This isn't you. Uh, uh, I, uh... What do you even know about me, huh? You got us killed, remember that? Vol, no! <laughs> Uh, and then you end up here with that, with that monster. The guide. Are you even aware of what that psychopath does to people? How he treats them? I am. And yet you work for him? I work with him. And you don't know what the heck you're on that you're talking about. How dare you throw that in my face? You know... You know. You know how much I loved you. I. And then to find out that you came here with this girl, not even visiting me. Like I never mattered to you. How could you, Vol? I wasn't sure that it was you. I mean, you're not even Astrid anymore. You're lying. Lying, lying, lying. I'm not. You're one to talk. You're telling me who I can and can't work for. But look at you. At least my psychopath has a purpose. Yours is unhinged. How can you work for her? Rem has a purpose too. One much greater and grander than... So it's a contest now. May the best dang god win. Is that what we're doing? Astrid, please. Get the heck away from here, whoever you are. Because you're not him. Not even a shadow of the man I loved. It's... If you ever come back here, I'll... I'll kill you myself. Astrid. My name is not Astrid. I am the voice. And you are banished from purgatory, Denizen. Wait, I... Uh. Isabel. I'm sorry that you had to see that. It's fine. We loved each other once. Part of me thought we still did. I never thought I'd see him again. And... Uh... You shouldn't go begging for a place in heaven, Isabel. I'm sorry if my actions, our actions, led you to do that. I only ever tried to make you feel at home here. Please believe me. I believe you. Thank you. You won't regret it. This sure turned out to be an eventful day. Huh? Well, all this. And they also I had quite an interesting talk with Sheol. Call me crazy, but I think I might be getting through to her. That's great. Right? Oh, and also... Hi, guide. <laughs> Good evening, Landon. Oh, pfft. I don't manage it, just popped up. Interesting. 
Good evening, landed gentry. Not him. Wait, is he onto me? We were actually in the middle of something here. Oh, shucks. I don't care at about it. I don't care about that. Clearly. Something fantastic has been transpired while you were off doing whatever this is. Huh? Oh, is it about... Indeed. We must make haste. So abandon the sad display of emotions you refer to as your sibling. For we have work to do. He doesn't really mean that, sister. I sure do. It's the guide, of course he does. You are nothing to me, Isabel. And to think I gave you a gift. Ah, yes. That tribute of yours. Provided entirely without an ulterior motive, hmm? Uh, I thought as much. But enough about this. We're leaving. Fine. Isabella? Huh? You should go rest for a while. It's late, and I get the feeling that you're very tired. You're not wrong. <laughs> That's sisterly intuition for you. <laughs> I'll see you later. Right. To be continued. In a few months or so. What? Toodles. Thank you, guide. <laughs> oh, man. Where do I even begin with all this? Also, before we continue on. Thank you, guide. Because that's entirely true. This will be in a couple of months. Where do I even begin with all this? Of all in the voice having a stormy relationship like that? Who would have guessed? Things sure got he heated. I wonder what the guide wanted to talk to the voice about. I've never seen him that excited before. Huh. I should head back home for now. Home sweet room. Wait, is that... Is there something black sticking out from under my bed? <laughs> Sheol! Sheol, why were you under our bed? Why? Princess. Ah! Hmm? What are you doing? Why would you hide under my bed? In fact, how did you even get in here? She does many things, but scaring the poor princess... She did not mean to. Mm. You prepared a poem for this specific situation. Yes. In other words, that was entirely her intention to scare us. I was afraid that I'd scare you, which I apparently did. Just say sorry like a normal person. Hmm. I am not normal. <laughs> Being normal is vastly overrated anyways, so... I suppose I can't argue with that. As for your questions, I was under your bed because I was tired, and I didn't want to sleep in your position without permission, and also because I cannot stand its vile tint. You'd rather sleep on the floor than in the bed with the wrong color? Correct. And how did you get in? I simply told that helpful shadow that we're best friends. Which, technically, we are. So I didn't even have to lie. Tang that Indalesio. And, I mean, best friends? Are you sure about that? Hmm. Yes. Who else would be your bestie? Chill. <laughs> I don't ever want to hear the word bestie from you again. Very well. This ending has been such a roller coaster of emotions. Um, but I'm glad to see that you're all right. Hmm. By the pride of Beelzebub, I am not all right. Um, I spent the whole day in the company of that witch. Ah, right. Well done with that, by the way. Thank you. 
And it paid off, too. Is that so? Yes. I actually got through the door and... Hold on. Where's Bliss? No idea. What? I assumed he was with you. Obviously he isn't. Ah. You don't think he got captured again, do you? It's possible. But then again, the guide would hardly miss the opportunity to gloat about it if so. Seeing as he's so delightfully cruel. That's true, I guess. So then... Hmm. I would like to hear about your discoveries, princess. But first, I require some more rest. I fear that unless I slumber for an extended amount of time, I will never be rid of the voice's face in my mind. Shudder. Did you just say shudder out loud? Hmm, yes. And there she goes again, back underneath the bed. Alrighty then. What should I do now? There are a lot of things to consider. With Volv and banished by the voice, how do I get in contact with Rem? Does she have the power to undo it? Or... I mean, if I can't reach anyone over there, I'm basically stuck here. That can't be how my story ends, can it? And all those things that the Will said. Is there really a war going on? A war that I'm in the middle of? And what's the deal with that shadow who ran into the tunnel? Should I really not be worried about that? We should be very much worried about that, I'm assuming. I mean, it's pretty clear that he's been following me. Seriously, I don't even know who killed me. All these questions. What did I ever do to deserve all this? I want to say that I've come closer to figuring things out. But it feels like the more I learn, the less I know. So frustrating. But... A salvi refuses to back down in the face of danger. I need to remember that. Or else I'll... I wonder where Bliss is. That act one complete yet? <laughs> Meanwhile in heaven, no! Gonna keep going, I guess. I was not expecting a two-hour ending. I need to sip my drink. Oh my goodness. Ah, Volley. This is sublimely sublime information. Whoops, wrong button. Just pop in a save real quick. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Of course, mistress. I'm really sorry that... I'm really sorry that the big A was so mean to you. It's her loss, you know. You are such a catch. Thank you. Well, if that's all. Yeppers. Go get some rest, you beautiful boy, you. Uh, I will, mistress. Aw, I hate seeing my poor special volley like this. I'm sure your little pet will get over it. Pet, is it? <laughs> Jealousy is a bad look on ya. I figured you might come here. Hmm. After all, you have a lot to be proud of yourself, don't you now, don't ya? No need to go competing for my little affections. That's true, man. Bliss, no! <laughs> Things did get a bit reckless, though, didn't they? Almost getting caught more than once, despite carrying that black gem around. I'm glad I was able to grab it from your treasury before you threw me out of here. After all, I knew that having the ability to disguise myself as a shadow would come in handy where I was going. It just so happens to fit perfectly in my stylish collar, too. I should be angry for you for stealing trinkets from the old vault. That resourcefulness is just so impressive. Lil B. Lil B. It's been a long time since you called me that. It's been a long time since you impressed me. <laughs> Fair enough. But you are impressed? 
<laughs> Impressed enough to let me come back home? Hmm. Earning your place in heaven is not a matter of making me impressed, and you know that. Oh, please. I see the caliber of the denizens you bring here. Amazing people in their respective fields. All of them. It's obvious that you're obsessed with things that are impressive. Hmm. I never did manage to find out what's so special about Isabel, though. Until, well, I realized that she can talk to that thing. The will. Right. And that is a very special indeed. Since nobody else seems to understand it. Hmm. Is that what you wanted? Is that when you started to fall in love with her little bee? Uh, I guess I'm a lot like you in that regard, ma'am. Man. I'm drawn to special things. Maybe so. And now we are here, seeking my approval once again. I bet you can't wait for me to say how clever you've been. Tricking Issy to come here by purposely saying too much to the gloomy girl. So that you can follow Volley and learn the way to heaven. Sending Issy headfirst into danger, using her as a bait like you did with that poor old friend you'd had before. <sighs> Stalking Issy to make sure she did what you wanted her to. And telling the voice where she could find Volley, creating a little distraction for you. Basically, you have been using every opportunity to treat that poor little girl terribly. Am I missing something? No, I think that's it. Ah, uh, sigh. You've learned nothing from all that time spent away from here. Still just treating people like toys. Even someone you kissed and claimed to love. So what? I am liking Bliss a whole lot less now. <laughs> You're always saying that we are worth more. Humans squash bugs all the time, so why can't... Silence, boy. Humans are not playthings. Like you're one to talk. How dare you! All I ever did... All I ever tried to do was be more like you. I've seen the way you treat people. The manipulation, controlling them, the lies. Well, who do you think I learned all that stuff from? Oh, my poor little bee. You must be confused. All the things I've done, I did them all because I love humans. It's true that I don't understand them, or their strangely strange emotions. Honestly, all these years trying to get close to them has made my mind fragile. But I've never stopped trying. Even after living a thousand lives among them, I'm still trying. And for that, I'm fantastic. There's a lot of pressure on me, but I'm out there being the godliest god ever made. That is why we are better, because we must be better, in order to help them. Can you claim the same noble motivation behind the things you did in Riva City? Now I need to play this game, I think. And the people from there, who thought you were their friend? All the way until all the way up until you did. Please stop. That's You have a darkness inside ya. I've done my best to purge it with all my heavenly goodness. But there are limits to my powers too, you know. And I can't let you come back here just because. Life isn't fair, you know. I'm God and this is heaven. I gotta have standards. But, no. I must be strong. Tough love. I can't keep making excuses for you just because you are my son. The way they were talking sounded a little bit more than uh, just another dweller here. <laughs> or denizen, I guess. Mom, please. Do not call me that. Not until you have earned it. Speaking of which, all of the things you did, in the end it was Folly who told me about the will. And here you are, acting like you did me a huge favor. 
Tell me, what real use do I have for you? I can keep helping Isabel. She wouldn't have found the will without me, remember? I've been one step ahead of everyone the whole time, and I got your results. And without me, she's lost. Hmm. You need me. You need me in your corner. And you know that I'm right. Hmm. Ah, you're so cute when you act all assertive like that. I love that side of you, little bee. It reminds me of when you were a baby. Oh no, I might start crying. Uh, you weren't around when I was little. Hmm. Ah, that's right. Never mind. Hmm. Anywho, you got me convinced. But I sure don't want to be around when she finds out that you have been using her. I think it might just break her poor heart in a million little pieces. I'll just have to make sure that she doesn't find out, man. Is that right? I promise. Hmm. Yeah, you promise. I'm entertained already. So, what's the will? Hmm. You don't need to concern that beautiful little head with such things. But... It's bigger than you can even imagine. If you ever need to know more, then maybe I can tell you. Making me trust you again might be a good start, hmm? Now it's time for you to get back to purgatory. Yeah, we'll keep helping Issy, and together yeah, we'll solve this whole super pickle that we're in. Absolutely, but... What should we do next? Hmm. Really? You already forgot? Ugh. How about looking into those little items that your uncle loves so much? My uncle? Oh no, I never even considered that he's my... Ain't family just a treat? <laughs> I mean... Yeah. And one more thing. You will stop doing things only for yourself. Remember that you are only half deity. The other half is human, so treat your own kind with respect. If you can do that, then I'd love to welcome you back someday. With a big ol' maybe in front, of course. I trust you can be discreet. Yes, mother Julie d no I mean I mean but Yes, Rum. I can. Goody. I'll teleport you back to the waiting hall in Purgatory. And hey, put a sm put on a smile, boy. Huh? Yeah, we'll get to spend a lot more time with a real special girl. Honestly, I don't know what's harder, being God or being a mother. But I do know one thing. I knew you were going to do this. I'm awesome. I knew it was going to do this where she pops up real close. I knew it was going to do it. <laughs> Act 1 complete. Gallery content unlocked. Oh boy, that was a real long recording session. We're to the end for now. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, slightly edited version. Writing and programming by Time Dust. <laughs> Artwork and visual design by Alcinus. I suppose it could be all kind of nice, but I think it's Alcinus. GUI and user interface by Scholastica. Music by Indigo. Indigo. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce names. I'm bad with names. Sound effects by Zap Splat. That one's kind of easy. That's just two words splashed together. <laughs> Community manager, Genevieve. Dun, dun. Purgatory verse wiki guide by Helen. I forgot this had like a semi official wiki. Like, I think this person made it because they loved it, and then that person. Patreon legend tier, Endigo. Patreon deity tier. Dao Tui? I don't know. I'm sorry about that one. <laughs> Patreon Dweller Tier. Gumsbiter. Natalie. Vanilla. Vampire1234. Patreon Shadow Tier. Josephine B. Kaiser. Nanami and Helen. 
special thanks to my wife. Oh. Oh, I love this version of the sending credit song. Thank you so much for playing. They took the amazing ending song that they already had and made it better? Really? I didn't know they could do that. To be continued in a few months when the next major update comes out. I don't know how much I should share because, like, they're... Uh, their super specific updates are, like, Patreon exclusive. Poetry in Purgatory is a free game which will keep growing through regular updates. If you enjoyed your stay in Purgatory, consider visiting our Patreon where you can help us make this game as special as you want it to be. In doing so, you can also earn a selection of special rewards. Uh, let's just go back to the main menu. Thank you for playing. I am not in the credits for uh, patrons, but I did become a patron after I started this series, so I'll be in the credits next time we actually play through this game, probably, which will be kind of exciting. But um, anyways, let's take a quick look at the gallery. Oh, here we go. Oh, we have our death scene in here now. And nothingness in face of absoluteness and completeness or whatever. What have we got? Oh, the pearly gates. Rem's uh, office. That at night and evening. Day and evening, rather. Or Boros Bar. That one at evening. Okay, just... I'm, I'm very curious. There are a few things I'm very curious and very excited to see. What's with that uh, section we can't actually visit? The location we can't visit now? I'm very curious what's going on over there as well. If achievements still aren't in. Okay, so that's... Home. Let me go home. There we go. The part wasn't that working. But um, this is the end for now. We'll be back in uh, some months. Like, I think it's going to be bi-monthly that we get super major updates. But I don't know if the first one's going to be, like, a content update or, like, a major fix update. I don't, I don't know how specific I'm allowed to be with this. Because it's, like, a Patreon exclusive to show, like, their exact roadmap, I think. So, um, rough outlines. It's going to be a couple months. Maybe a few months before, uh... Before we get to play through some more of this, but I honestly can't wait. Like, I'm so excited. I got a kill. Oh, I can, I can tell it already. I'm gonna love this so much. So much of why I love Pit Stop just more. <laughs> oh my goodness, I can't wait. But anyways, it's probably a pretty good place to end off because it's been so long at this recording. I wanna thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed as much as I have, and I hope to see you next time. So, without further ado, take care, everybody.